Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the 2022 Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86 Core Class Wheelie figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We will of course do some comparisons with him in his original Generation 1 self. We'll also do some comparisons with some other wheelies that have been released down the Generation 1 toy line. And because obviously he's a Studio Series 86 figure, we can see how he scales compared with some of the other figures in the same toy line. And of course, how he's so much better than the one that originally came with Grimlock himself. So as you can see, quite a bit to get through with this video. So while I pop these guys away for a second, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And before we cut this guy open, another couple of things. One, I need to thank Robot Recruit, because that's who I purchased this from. And as you can see, they got him to me nice and safely. And the other thing is just to very quickly appreciate the artwork of, there he is with his slingshot in his robot mode. Um, there he is all packaged up neatly inside there, of course, still using winterless boxes. There's a detailed or I suppose a much bigger, again, drawing of him of his head. And there is, of course, the full body of him there. For a core class, he looks to be quite detailed. He's going to take 12 steps to transform him. And to be honest, there's not much more to say apart from let's have a look at him as I say, this is one of them figures that again just came out of nowhere. I'm really pleased that they did it. Um, because I suppose the one that came with Grimlock, you know, it, it's been exact, it's served its purpose as a make do. But if they are going to be making the cast of the movie, we do need a much, much better version like this, which of course we've got with the exosuit as well. So we've got the instructions there. Um, the back is a, again, it's a scene from the movie, which is good. Um, and it doesn't look like he's got anything at all. So where's his slingshot? Ah, there it is. It's hidden there at the bottom. So we can take the slingshot out. And then what I need to do now is set him free from there and come straight back to you with some first impressions. Right, so as you can see, we've set him free from his packaging and it's time for some first impressions. And you can already tell that there's going to be quite a bit of articulation on this little guy. He looks really good. The head sculpt is great. Look at that. You've got at least four different colours going on there. You've got the dark grey on the top, the silver, slightly different colour for the face, the blue eyes. Uh, you can see that the shoulders have got ball and socket joints. There's even a bicep, I suppose, bend and flexion and the tabs are t uh, sticking back in there. The head will, of course, turn around. Uh, looking up and down is obviously going to be part of transformation process. He doesn't have a waist swivel, obviously, but he's got, again, ball and socket in the hips. Uh, ball and socket in the knees um, he's sort of got an ankle tilt an ankle rock um, lovely detailed Autobot logo there lovely silver on the actual hands there as well so that's just not grey hopefully the light is doing it some justice it really is popping really nice this is more of a gunmetal grey round in his feet and in his knees and of course he's got his little crossbow there as well which of course has got no other attachment it's literally just that crossbow but overall first impressions i think he looks really good so let's have a look at him in his alternate mode it shouldn't be too difficult and hopefully he's not going to be too stiff with the fact that it's a brand new toy right let's have a look at this so let's fold the back down uh, fold the head carefully into there separate the waist like so and start to tilt this up click the forearms back into the back part of the main of the arm then we're going to fold the feet up like so and then i think yeah the whole midsection there is going to fold so we're going to turn the wheels around with it so as we bring this part forward turn that and then rotate by the looks of that yep that's it that's going to fit in so same principle applied over here this is going to come forwards but at the same time you need to rotate and yeah so this is what we're going to do now so that's going to fit underneath so fold the arms back out of the way this fits into that gap underneath so we've got the legs coming right through at the front with a little click in place there uh, the whole midsection will then line itself up the fists and the arms we can then is there tabs for these i imagine there is yeah there there is there's a little hook there and there's the back of the legs there so then we can just close that down and as you can see he sort of 
yeah, he does. He all fits together neatly. Yes, we've got visible hand syndrome, but again, I do say this about a lot of the figures. It is a core class figure, so you know we can't have too too much. And I also know that other companies, you know, do do much more detailed figures at this particular size. But again, they're three four times the price. Um, I've also noticed there's a hole there on the underside, and I can just see there in the instructions that we can, in fact, as well if we wanted to, just store the crossbow there um, as well. So he looks good. He does. You know, you can't say that he's not movie accurate. I think he looks very much like it. The colour scheme there is brilliant. Uh, with regards to a uh, comparison with the original, um, it's it's similar in some aspects of the fact. Obviously, you've got the legs folded through to the front. Uh, but, of course, his head is there. And you can't see. I don't think if we can. No, there's no way at all that we can lift that up whilst he's in this mode, which is good. It's of no use uh, doing a comparison, really. But I'm going to still do it compared to this version. This was um, a, I suppose it's an Asian exclusive um, of him in a deluxe figure which is using uh, the jazz mold i believe so he's way bigger and of course nothing like it um yes it's definitely using the jazz mold you can tell there but this is another incarnation of wheelie that we did have uh with regards to i suppose display on a stand i'm going to use this one because this is the most common and best display background he looks tiny sitting on there so i think what we need to do is get him back into robot mode and just do a few more comparisons so let's keep that there at the back is it going to hold yeah it will so let's take the slingshot out of the back let's separate the arms bring these around and out of the way separate the legs from the front you can see where these have sort of tabbed in here uh how am i going to do this yeah hold on to the front and push these back but of course these are all to be fair these are all tabbed in really really well and oh there we go so we've separated there fold the back part out this is of course the back so separate there remember we turned the um, orientation of the knees around so we're going to need to do the same again so let's turn the legs out let's fold this back bit up out of the way so bring the legs around the side like so turn the orientation at the knee around uh sorry that way around that's it that's the knee fold the foot up turn the orientation there fold the foot up uh, bring the front chest piece down open up the back piece grab the head pull it out like so stand it all up it's that's it that needed lifting up which you could see and there's the tabs in the chest like so bring the arms down and there we go nice and simple and relatively easy let's put his crossbow in him and let's finish up then with some comparisons and some displays so there's the original g1 car mode this is the g1 robot mode and what i did want to say quickly as well is that i do like these little core boxes i much prefer them having boxes compared to the old bubbles that you just pulled off and it does very much remind me of the original generation one japanese little boxes as well and funnily enough this is wind um it's a complete closed box but this is how they packaged them and stored the little uh, mini bots in japan so that's another reason why i'm liking these right so there's original wheeling let's move them out of the way this is uh one of the more recent versions well, it's in between isn't it i think it was either power of the primes or combiner wars i'll correct myself in a couple of seconds but funnily enough, he's much, much bigger, isn't he? You can see it was Titan's return, funnily enough. It's much bigger, but this guy, of course, is in better scale. And to be honest, he's got a bit more articulation and the colour scheme on him works so, so much better. With regards to other core class figures in the same toy line, we can see there how he compares like that. And of course, I suppose the final comparisons or display ideas that we've got to have a quick look at is if I bring Grimlock back in, if I take this guy off his shoulder, I'm just wondering if they, if he had his extended out legs, he probably would be exactly the same height, to be honest. So last one, should we put him on display? We might as well, that's what we've got some of these backing things for, if they're gonna stand up. So we've got a Grimlock on there. Is he gonna stand? I've got, so that's a leader class. There's a deluxe class. And there indeed is the core class. And to be honest, they do scale 
incredibly well. Let's bring them off there. I think they look a bit better down here, to be fair, where you can see them more. Um, and again, that's exactly the purpose of this, to get them to scale well. And they do do exactly that. So I'm quite impressed with this guy. Uh, I keep saying that the core class is really good and it just gives everybody the opportunity to buy these figures. Obviously, we've got Ratchet as well. And I imagine we're going to be getting a Voyager one of him at the same time. But there you go. This guy, I think, goes brilliantly with what we've got in the current cast already. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Take care.